Nice. I like it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, geekiest vlog ever. I am going to Jessup's to take a look at a new camera that I might buy. Super low battery, but I'm here with Lucas from Panasonic. So Lucas, you've got a pre-production model of the G9. Could you tell us a few little things about the camera? Um, the thing is this camera, the Panasonic, is a revolution camera in the market. Um, it's a new camera, it's, a, it's not exactly the GH5, because Panasonic tried to uh, tend to invest more in taking a camera for photography. Mm. Yeah. You know, uh, because we know, especially the Panasonic is developing incredible program video, incredible cameras like the GH5. Uh, this camera is is good in both things because you have the incredible features like autofocus preview, 20 megapixels, newest viewfinder, which is absolutely awesome, especially if you wear glasses like me. Yeah. <laughs> um, also, you know, you have joystick, you have incredible things about the GH5, like the colors, uh, the color profiles, the loots, everything. But uh, the thing is, in this, the thing is also is a good camera for video, and you must know about it because the GH5 have 40k 60. This one have 4k 60. Yeah. A slow motion, 120, 180, 6 frames, 60 frames, 50 frames per second. That's amazing. You can change the same prop for the GH5 at the moment. It's the same battery? Uh, the same battery as the GH5. So it's a bigger battery than um, the G80. As well, um, you will find here the same microphone. Yeah. The HDMI and one surprise in here, oh, you know, yeah. is the USB 3.0. Yes. So you can charge the battery maybe in one hour. That is yesterday, amazing. Yeah, yesterday it was only one hour and 20 minutes. That is amazing. Because this camera, my G80, is actually running low on battery. I haven't got any spare batteries and USB charging would save my life right now, but I don't have it. Yeah. So uh, tell me about the IBIS, the image stabilization. Okay, the image stabilization in this camera is, uh, is different, right? It's a new body designed for Panasonic. So has to be different. The GH5 has five sticks, five axis stabilization, and everybody knows that Olympus has one of the best in the market. Sure. So in Panasonic, we try to best. It's like okay, why not try to say be, be even better? Yeah. So now we are. We have 6.5 steps. Wow. Uh, and the, the GH5 is five. Five steps. Five stops. So they were 6.5. Okay. And also is good under any condition: photographic, video. Um, so it works in the video as well. Booty in video as well. That's, that's the main thing yeah. for me anyway. It's, it's amazing. Brilliant. Yeah. Wow. It's so great camera. It's going to be released for January. Do you know now. when in January? Or? Uh, at, it's, it's first of January. Uh, but uh, It's first of January but I need to be confirmed maybe. Sure. The, I think it's first of January. Okay. Um, it's going to be released but I'm not sure when the camera comes to the store exactly. Uh, it feels amazing. It feels really good. It feels substantial yet it's still very light. So, and it also has a headphone jack, has a mic jack. The grip, I'd say the grip is actually more substantial in the, in the G9. It's more comfortable to hold. I think actually you can see the, the grip difference. Can you see it on there? Mm -hmm. it's, it, it holds really well in the hand, whereas the GH5 also holds really well. I don't know if you've got longer fingers, you'd appreciate the extra grip. And this nice little top dial is cute as well. It's really nice, these buttons feel great, these dials feel good. Another one there, so that's kind of the same as you have. The cord button is in a, in a pretty tricky place, actually. But if you release that finger, actually it's fine. If you, re if you release that index finger, middle finger, you can get at it. I don't know, the biggest takeaway from just playing with it for a few minutes is the ergonomics. It feels really, really good in the hand. It's not too heavy that's got a nice bulk about it but that grip that grip makes so much of a difference it's like you really feel secure with the camera in your hand and obviously you've got the image stabilization so it's going to be your shot's going to be really firm it's amazing nice i like it <laughs> yeah
Okay, so literally I went into Jessup's and it was daylight and now it's night time. That is how long I talk about cameras with people. It's rather unhealthy obsession. Okay, so heading home now. Few inches later. Alrighty, so I've just got back from Jessup's and the big question is the GH5 or the G9? Well, I have to say that was a fascinating trip to the camera shop. It always is. And it's left me with more questions than answers about which camera to get because it's kind of like going with your head or your heart. Your head says the GH5 is the one you shoot video primarily, look at all these features, you've got your 10 bit, you've got this, you've got that, you've got your XLR adapter, these are massive, massive things if you get, you know, you're doing professional video. So in all honesty, that should be the choice. Unlimited record times, blah, 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 the list goes on. But over here, you've got the G9, which just feels amazing. That's the biggest takeaway I've got from the G9 is it just feels good in the hand. It's like a gun. You just grip it. I just couldn't stop kind of staring at it. And I wasn't interested in the GH5 at all. And also that 6.5 stops of stabilization made a difference. So a few things that I couldn't film or couldn't show you, but I did my own tests and you'll just have to take my word for it. Stabilization. Five stops in the GH5, 6.5 stops in the G9. It was like a gimbal, I kid you not, super smooth. It was like liquid, I was like, that is a gimbal. Say goodbye to gimbals, because if you've got a micro four third system, that is one of your major advantages. You know, you might not have the autofocus just yet, but you do have a flip screen and bloody good stabilization. Okay, so that was stabilization, number two, is slow motion, variable frame rate. I can confirm that the G9 does have variable frame rate. I was very surprised to see it there, but it was there. It goes all the way up to 180 frames per second. I can't confirm whether the bit rates were the same as the GH5, but it went up and it looked pretty good to me. So what else did I test? Autofocus. <laughs> Almost forgot to mention autofocus. Now, I filmed the screen of the G9, you'll have to trust me what it was, and I was moving from subject to subject. I was shooting 4K 60 at the time, and the autofocus was brilliant. I'm gonna say that, and I'll probably get shot down for saying it. It was superb. Just moving from subject to subject was super smooth. There was definitely improvement over the G80, and there was a marginal improvement over the GH5. It was not an extensive test. I don't even have proof. You just have to take my word for it. Another takeaway was the screen. The flip out screen is amazing on the GH5, but there was something even more vivid about the G9. It was just absolutely beautiful. The viewfinder, I don't generally use the viewfinder much, but it was like being in like a VR thing. You know, one of those VR headsets. It was super wide. It was like stepping into a widescreen TV. That was really immersive, and if you're a photographer, you'll love it. And especially shooting in bright sunlight, if you're shooting video, you can just get down into that into that viewfinder, and you've got things covered. So it's really, really got the video base covered, even though it is only an 8-bit camera. Quite strong downside for the G9 is the 10-minute recording limit on 4K60. So I guess you'll have to think about what you shoot, shoot and how you shoot it, whether that is a big issue for you. But it's clear that Panasonic are making a clear differentiation between the GH5 for video and the G9 for stills. Didn't bother with the 80 megapixel high-res pixel shift shot, but I think that's pretty cool. But if you got a moving subject, it's not really gonna work that way. So those are my takeaways. I hope you enjoyed the little interview with Lucas, the Panasonic rep, so thank you for that. And please let me know which camera do you think I should get? And what would you choose out of the GH5 and the G9? Have you just bought a GH5 and you, got the, you should have got a G9? Those who regularly view my videos will know that this kind of thing isn't, isn't what I usually do, but I'm thinking I'm gonna expand my YouTube channel into my other interests and perhaps just do a little bit more talking to camera, which is what YouTube is all about, isn't it? So again, let me know which camera to get and we'll see you next time. Yeah.